Okay, hi. This question, guys. Now, this question says that Ram, a greedy shopkeeper, uses a 1100 gram weight instead of 1000 gram weight while procuring. While selling, he uses a 900 gram weight instead of 1000 gram one. He marks up the price of the product by 20% while selling over the actual price of 1000 grams. One day, one of his customers found this out. He decides to teach Ram a lesson and interchanges the weights. Unaware of the event, Ram continues his business as usual. By the end of the day, Ram finds out that his stock sold out sooner than it was used to be. Delighted, Ram decides to find out his profit. On calculating, Ram was in for a shock. What was his net profit loss percentage for the day? There go. Now this question says that so understand this guys. Uh, this question says that he was he, he uses the eleven hundred gram weight instead of thousand gram weight while procuring and while selling he uses a nine hundred gram weight instead of thousand gram. Okay. Now understand this. In the first case, what what would have happened, right? So what would have happened in the first case? So in the first case, if he was using a eleven hundred gram, if he was using a 1100 gram weight for procuring 1100 gram, uh, 1000 uh, gram weight okay so now that means 1000 gram he is buying and he is using a 1100 gram weight that basically means that from the wholesaler okay he is actually he is paying the cost of 1000 gram okay but he is taking 1100 gram from shopkeeper right and to the customer he is selling how much he is selling so to the customer, he is selling 900 grams actually. Okay. So what was, his, what was his profit percentage in this case, right? So while purchasing, he had profit when he was purchasing 1100 gram by paying the cost of 1000 gram. That means he has paid the cost of 1000 gram. That means here, 100 gram is absolutely free. So 100 gram on 1000 gram. So when he is paying the cost of 1000 gram, he is taking 100 gram for free, right? That means... This is profit percentage is what? So profit percentage is 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 means 10% 10 is the profit. In the first scenario we're talking about, right? Let's understand the question first. Then, then we'll solve it, okay? In the second scenario, uh, 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 in the first scenario only, in the second part, to the customer, he's selling 900 gram. So what happens here actually? When he's selling 900 gram to the customer, so he's actually taking the cost of 100 gram, right? So he is taking the cost of hundred gram to the from the customer. Okay, sorry, he is taking the cost of nine hundred gram from the customer. That means his profit is hundred gram. Okay, so he is taking a profit of hundred gram on what? So here on that becomes here on actually is on nine hundred gram. Correct. So this is a percentage change we need to understand here that he is buying hundred gram uh, on nine. He is making a profit of hundred gram on selling nine hundred gram. So this in, in profit percentage, you can think here that it is a profit upon cost price. It is actually, but this is not cost price here. If you mark it, if you mark in quantity, you assume that cost price of one gram is equal to one rupees. Okay. Then cost price of 900 gram is 900 rupees. That means he's selling, he is giving the goods worth rupees 900 from the customer, but he is actually showing that weight of thousand gram. That means he's, he is taking 1000 rupees from the customer. Okay. That means what is his profit here, guys? So his profit is 100 rupees on 900. Hey na? That is 1 by 9. That is 11.11%. So that's the point. So basically it is always 100 on 900, right? It is always 100 on 900. Okay. So similarly, what we'll do here, guys? So it is always what we do, no? So when, whenever, it's always the profit, whenever you're selling to the customer. So always remember, always put the sold quantity in denominator. Always put the sold quantity in denominator. Okay. So 100 by 900 is equal to 1 by 9. That is 11.11% profit. Now this he would have made, right? This he would have made. Okay. But it's not the actual case. But you got to understand what is happening here, right? Now what actually is case 1? what should have happened right but now what has actually happened now so what has actually happened this is the case now okay that's more for understanding now it will solve the question here okay so what has actually happened now while said uh one of his customers just interchanged interchange the weight actually right that means now he he was thinking that by using a 1100 gram weight 
he's buying from the wholesaler but the exchange of the weight basically means that now to the customer so exchanging means what was earlier happening to customer now it will it will happen to uh, same thing while buying from shopkeeper that means now the weights are exchanged so he is actually thinking that he is procuring 100 gram he is sorry 1000 gram he is purchasing 1000 gram with the weight of 1100 gram okay but actually the customer interchanges the weight right that means the weight is 900 gram now okay so that means he is paying the cost of 1000 gram to the wholesaler but by mistake due to that or, or by because of the customer interchanging the weight he is only purchasing 900 grams okay and now he is selling how much so he, he thinks that to the customer he is selling 900 gram okay he is cheating customer but because he, the weights are interchanged to the customer he is now selling 1100 gram okay so what is the profit percentage here guys so now you can directly calculate now what is the profit percentage so again, so he is paying the cost of 1000 gram and he is purchasing 900 gram. That means on 1000 gram he is losing 100 gram. Right, that means what is the loss percentage here? So loss percentage is 10%. 100 gram on 1000 gram. That is equal to 10% is the loss percentage. Okay, similarly 1100 gram is the weight. Okay. So 1100 gram is the actual weight, uh, is the weight which is given to the customer. So again, I told you while giving to the customer because of this logic here, okay, I can, I'll write my profit percentage or loss percentage is always on in, de in on denominator sold quantity. So he is losing 100 gram, okay. So he's losing 100 gram on selling 1100 gram to the customer. So what is loss percentage here? So loss percentage is 1 by 11, that is 9.09%. So if I consolidate, consolidate all the data, so we can, we can just do in, in, a, in one line guys. Okay, so understand this, let my initial CP be 1. Okay, now what he has done, so let's look all things, all things together here guys. So now he marks up the price of the product by 20%. So he marks the, up the price of the product by 20%, that means what is the multiplying factor? 1 by 5 increase. 20% increase that means 1 by 5 increase that means he should multiply by 6 by 5 the cost will become 6 by 5 times because of 20% increase correct now after that while purchasing he is making a loss of 10% that is if making a loss of 10% so that loss of 10% actually means 1 by 10 decrease so 1 by 10 decrease means what is the multiplying factor 9 by 10. We will study 9, uh, 9 this uh, multiplying factor in our percentages videos. Hai na? And then again, this 1 by loss here is 1 by 11. So that 1 by 11 decrease. Now an another loss is here 1 by 11 decrease. What is the multiplying factor? 10 by 11. So after all these things, what is the new SP guys? What is the new SP? So SP here is, you just cancel this 10 and 10 gets cancelled. So the new SP is now 54 by 55. So CP is 1, SP is 54 by 55. So what is the it's a loss, right? Because SP is less than 1. It's a loss. What is loss, guys? So loss percentage is loss on, S, loss on CP. Loss is of 1 by, right? What is loss percentage now? 1 to 54 by 55. Okay, you can just think like, you can just just think 1 as, you can just think this 1 as, 55 by 55 so because of easy because of this calculation will be easier right so 55 and 55 same so 55 by 55 to 54 or 55 loss is of 1 by 55 so loss percentage is 1 by 55 into 100 that is what that is if you solve it you will get this as almost 1.818 percent loss that is option a so a is the answer for this question so very good question guys okay so just revise this question or uh, in this part i have discussed the concept in this part i have discussed the actual solution here okay Chalo. so we'll continue the series of arithmetic practice sessions okay we'll do a lot of questions in this okay thank you just uh, we'll do one question in each video and we'll try to uh, do at least 50 questions in this in this series right so you'll get a lot of idea about the arithmetic okay